Daddy, we open in five minutes. You're gonna put out the condiments or what? Yeah, I'm doing it. Hey. O'Neill's. Oh, hey, Stephanie. Nah, I'm not doing nothing. Mace, what do you think of the painting here? No good. I can still see it. Oh, that's not very nice. See? Lizzie agrees with me, too. And Archie Fauci runs in her family. No, I meant that people shouldn't criticize each other's tastes. Oh, well, take Bobby's boots. Even though I think they're hideous, I would never say that to him directly. And the way you don't say stuff like that is what I love about you. Well, Liz, what do you think about it? Me? Um, well, I'm no expert, but my dad is, so why don't you ask him when he comes to pick me up? Smooth. If she asks me again, pretend to kiss me. Dad? Can I have a couple of days off? Why? Because Stephanie and I want to go check out a beauty school up in New Jersey. I'm thinking about becoming a beautician. I thought your only career goal was to marry a rich guy and leech off him for the rest of your life. Yeah, but then I realized how shallow and immature that was. Besides, nobody who comes in here makes over 30 grand a year. So can I go? I'll think about it. Maybe I should put it here by the booths. The green of the naga hide will bring out the green of the background. Try the alley. The brown of the dumpster will bring out the brown of the frame. <laughs> Afternoon, everyone. Are you ready to go, Liz? Oh, well, our movie doesn't start for an hour. How about hanging out for a bit? Oh, I'm not so sure it's safe to leave the car in this day and age. <laughs> Philip, you own a gallery. I bought this painting for $5 at a garage sale. What do you think? Oh. Yes, uh, multi-textural neo-surrealism. It was a very popular style in the 70s. You see? Of course, it fell out of favor once people stopped dropping acid. <laughs> ha! Art is subjective. All that matters is that it speaks to you. No matter how loudly. Well, it does speak to me. And I don't care what any of you think. Look for you, Ma. If you ask me, I think you've got great taste. Thank you. Enjoy your time off checking out beauty school. You're going to beauty school? Because they sure couldn't teach you anything. <laughs> Could I see the sports page? <laughs> <laughs> I swear that never gets old. <laughs> Dad, did you see the arts and leisure section? The Broadwater Gallery is having a big opening in New York. And guess what style they're bringing back? Oh, my God, 1970s neo-surrealism. What? <laughs> Suddenly, Audrey's taste is cutting edge. You are not serious. Oh, read the list of celebrities that are coming to the opening. Puffy, Madonna, Cher, Sting. All that money and no last names. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to tell Mrs. O'Neill. I know she felt bad that we all hated her painting. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't hate it. Oh, my God, here we go. What? What's that supposed to mean? You hated the painting at the O'Neill's bar, but now that it's trendy, you're flipping like a Romanian gymnast. Oh, that, <laughs> that is nonsense. For your information, I've been thinking about that painting off and on since I first saw it. It has a certain haunting quality. Oh, it's scary, all right. <laughs> you know, you could sprain an ankle backpedaling that fast. <laughs> I am not backpedaling. I genuinely feel there was a certain raw energy to it that, uh, given the right setting... Oh, no, we are not hanging that painting in this house. Simon, we do not even own it. Which is really too bad, because it would make a wonderful conversation piece at our cocktail party next week. You tragically hip hypocrite. Mm. You just want to be the first one on the block to have the hot new toy. Well, that is so not true. I will have you know I do not cut my taste to fit the latest fashion in art or anything else. Frankly, I'm hurt that you both have such a poor opinion of me. I'm going for a walk. You know he's going to Bartucci's to drown himself in lattes. No, Bartucci's got slammed last week in the style section. He doesn't sulk there anymore. Can you believe they gave me a desk job? I'm a physical guy, Mace. I'm not one of these people who can sit around on their butts all day. Another beer, Pat? Yeah, and could you open this bag of nuts for me? Speaking of nuts... Um, officer, there's a group of young toughs outside harassing pedestrians. Oh, that's not right. 
Well, I think you should do something before it gets ugly. What happened? They tried to get money from you? No, they made fun of my jacket. <laughs> Is Audrey around? Nope. She went down to Atlantic City to pick up Maddie. Turns out a blackjack table got between her and beauty school. She blew all her cash. I'm surprised at that girl. Me too. I told her a thousand times, never double down on 13. <laughs> well, um, would you have Audrey give me a call? I'm interested in buying this painting. Really? I thought you hated that thing. Well, I admit I wasn't enthusiastic at first, but uh, after some reflection, I've decided my living room could use something whimsical and jejune. You look at those kids outside didn't hear you talk. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm starting to smell a big gay rat. <laughs> you sure someone didn't come into your gallery looking to buy something like this? I told you, it's for my own living room. Uh-huh. What if I said you could have it for 50 bucks? Done. Ah, 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 ah. I said, what if? <laughs> I was thinking more like 100. Done. Ah, 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 ah. <sighs> I said I was thinking. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to stand here and haggle with you. Uh -huh. It was just a whim. Okay. I can certainly live without it. 500 bucks. So, <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll just take it with me right now. Hey, Mace, you don't think you're going to be in the doghouse for selling Audrey's painting without asking her? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> I tell you, Pat, I've lived by a code that served me well through marriage for 25 years. It's always easier to apologize than to ask for permission. <laughs> Oh, what a day. The car stalled, the fish market was out of sand tabs, and if you think I don't see that hideous painting on our wall, your hair thickener seeped into your brain. <laughs> Simon, Simon, look, all I ask is that you give it a chance. Some of the little details are amazing, like that floating eye. Look, wherever you go. Your superficiality follows you? <laughs> hey, Dad. Oh, no. You actually got it. Isn't that my mom's painting? Yes, I bought it. I thought you hated that thing. He did, until he read a piece in the Times that told him how much he loved it. Unbelievable. They write about that in the Times, but good luck finding a piece on that giant goat-eating bat down in Mexico. <laughs> Doesn't it bother you at all that you're behaving like a poser? I am not a poser. You even say poser like a poser. Oh. <laughs> Simon, if I don't like something, I say so. For instance, I am the first person to say I did not like Bobby's boots, which, by the way, should not be on the coffee table. <laughs> Can we please stop using my boots as the universal symbol for ugly? Oh, sure. Your Aerosmith t-shirt will work just as well. Hey, Aerosmith rocks. You know, there's plenty of stuff you wear that I don't like, like that romance killer you call a nightgown. What, you told me you liked my cuddle bunny nighty. Only because I was trying to get into your carrot patch. <laughs> Too far? that nightgown because it is comfortable. Well, so are my boots. Oh, you know, if I left it up to you, you'd probably wear those boots to our wedding. Well, if you were a cuddle bunny on our honeymoon, do not expect Mr. Peter Rabbit to be popping up much. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, you remember when we used to fight like that? Yes, but eventually we figured out that loving someone is learning to live with all the cringe-worthy things they drag home. <laughs> so I can keep the painting? Yes. Because I know in your heart you hate this disaster piece as much as I do, and I'm going to enjoy watching it mock you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not going to happen, because I genuinely like it. Every time I look at it, I see something new to appreciate, like that, that little star up in the corner. Oh, that's lint. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I do like you. Your playful textures, your bold colors, your unconventional use of light and shadow. You are delightful. Liar. <laughs> Simon? No, it's me, the painting. I'm not delightful. I'm hideous, and you know it. <laughs> Simon? I, uh, I know that that's you. 
uncomfortable, aren't I? What's going on? Oh, admit it. You only bought me because I was an architectural design magazine. That's not true. I think you are very comfortable. Right. And you think I'm a real antique. You're not? Dude, I was made in Fresno, 1993. You're fake? Look who's talking. Hey, Paisan, down here. Why are you wearing us, eh? We may look nice, but we pinch your feet. This is insane. You're loafers, you don't even have tongues. Oh, great. They got me so spooked, I'm having nightmares. I really do like you. Those colors. Oh, those colors. Oh, I am such a poser. You're wearing your boots to bed? Hey, you're wearing that stupid cottontail nightgown? I'm wearing these boots. Okay. Well, if you're wearing those boots, you're not getting any boots, hey. Okay. All right. Uh, look, none of us wants that, so I'll get rid of these boots. You get rid of the nightgown. Okay. Oh, oh you know what else I don't like? Those gigantic sunglasses you wear. You could lose those, too. Well, what's wrong with them? Oh, please. You look like you should be down in Miami sending back food. <laughs> Well, if it's like that, then I've got two words for you. Cut off jeans. Hey, people still wear those. Yeah, in Eastern Europe, with their socks and sandals to the beach. Oh, and don't even get me started on your underwear. Oh, come on, I just got them worn in. They don't even have elastic anymore. My belt keeps them up. Uh, you know, what is so wrong with having nice stuff? No, no, you mean your idea of nice stuff. See, this isn't about my boots. This is about you being in control. Hey, right back at ya. Well, my stuff is my stuff, so lay off. Fine, you leave my stuff alone, too. Fine. Let's just do it and go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> like that's gonna happen. What, so we're back to no sex now? Talk to the tail. <laughs> Here she is, Mace, your delinquent daughter. Talk to her. Maddie, what you did was... Unforgivable. Tell her, Mace. Young lady, this time you went... Too far. Say something, Mace. <laughs> this time, Missy, you really put, put your... Put your foot in it. <laughs> Come on, Mace, tell her how we feel. Maybe you should tell her. I'm all talked out. <laughs> Mace, where's my painting? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you the good news. I sold it to Philip. You sold my painting? Told you she'd be mad. She's not mad. Of course I'm mad. Why? I made you a nice profit. I sold it for 250 bucks. <laughs> you had no right to sell something that belonged to me without asking. Gosh, you know, you're right. I'm sorry. Sorry's not gonna get you out of this one. We are going over to Phillips and you're gonna buy my painting back. Are you nuts? <laughs> no, she's right. Look, people got a right to like what they like. Her stuff is her stuff, whether you like it or not. What the hell are you wearing? Get used to it somewhere and it all winter. What do you mean you sold the painting? That piece of crap was a work of art! I took it to the gallery and put it in the storeroom, and, and before I knew it, one of my staff had sold it. For how much? Two thousand dollars. Two grand? You only paid me five hundred. Five hundred? You told me two fifty. <laughs> Honey, please, this is no time to quibble about money. You ripped me off. You came to me with some cockamamie story about wanting to feel living, knowing you were going to sell it all along. Oh, I did no such thing. I genuinely liked that painting at first. Uh, him? <laughs> Actually, not at first, but the more I thought about it, the more I grew to appreciate it. Uh... Okay, I only liked it because I saw some famous dealer promoting them in the Times. Oh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. O'Neill. What's going on? Now, uh, we came to get Audrey's painting back, but it turns out the opposite of straight isn't gay, it's crooked. <laughs> hey, Philip has never cheated anyone in his entire life. He is not a thief. He's a poser. Yes, that's right. And I was planning on sending a check over with Bobby, but you know what? I'll just write it now. Well, it won't help the pain and suffering you cause, but just make it out the cash. Put away your checkbook. I don't want the money. What, are you out of your mind? Where you get 
playoff tickets for that type of cash. And you know, a purse. I told you, Mace, it's not about the money. Neither of you gave me a second thought when you were selling my painting, so now you can just do what you have to to get it back. What can I do? He sold it. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> Neither do I. So, pick up the phone and find out where it was delivered. People's stuff is people's stuff. You had no right to take it, so get it back, damn it. <laughs> okay, someone needs to find her center. <laughs> Here's the apartment. Now, if we have any hope of getting this painting back, you'd better let me do the talking. Forget it. I've run my own business for 20 years. I know how to make a deal. Uh, we are negotiating for a work of art, not a case of hooch. <laughs> Whoever bought this painting is clearly a sophisticated collector with a very discerning eye. Can I help you? <laughs> saying um hello i'm uh, i'm philip stoddard and, and this is mace o'neill hi hi we've come to talk to you about the uh the painting you purchased from my gallery oh uh actually my sister bought me the painting for my birthday it was just delivered this morning yes well um there's been just a little problem um may we talk inside all right follow me so you see the painting should never have been sold but uh Considering the inconvenience, we're willing to buy it back for, say, $200 more than the original price? Oh, that's very generous, but I'm afraid I like it far too much to sell it back to you. <laughs> How can you like it? You can't even see it. You're blind. <laughs> you, you'll have to forgive my associate. He's working for me as part of a state-sponsored Hire the Imbecile program. <laughs> as I said before, the painting was a gift from my sister, Stacy. It's got a lot of sentimental value. Well, I can certainly appreciate that. But to be honest with that you... That painting has a lot of sentimental value to our family, too. My wife's mother gave it to her last Christmas. Oh, I didn't know. Your wife's lucky her mother's still living. Stacy and I lost our mother three years ago. <laughs> then we foolishly fought over the estate. This painting was the first olive branch. That's why it means so much to me. I see. Thing is, Audrey's mom died too. <laughs> Heart attack. Her last words were, never sell the painting. Oh, I'm sorry. At least she didn't linger. <laughs> My poor mother spent 15 years on her deathbed. She's lucky she had a bed. <laughs> Audrey's mom died in the street. At least she was outside. My mother couldn't even see out the window from her oxygen tent. I was shot in them. I'm blind. I got a son who's engaged to a girl with two gay dads. Okay, you win. Take the pain. Wait a minute. Gay dads trumps dead mom? For heaven's sake, I'll just write you a check. Can we take the painting now? Uh, not yet. There's uh, one more thing I need your help with. Uh, I received another birthday present, a DVD of a French film. Only my friend accidentally sent me the subtitled version instead of the dubbed. So you want us to exchange it for you? Oh, no, I wouldn't put you to that much trouble. Come on, je languis ce moment. <laughs> my body aches for you. My <laughs> My lips are on fire. Let me soothe your ache and kiss your fiery lips. I am trembling with anticipation. Tonight I am a woman. I am so turned on. Okay, we got your painting back. Sorry. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. <laughs> it would mean a lot more if you knew what we had to do for it. <laughs> I still have the shakes from that bathtub scene. Well, whatever you had to do, I appreciate it. 
clear. Now take it back to the gallery and sell it again. <laughs> what? If you're gonna sell it anyway, why'd we have to get it back? It wasn't yours to sell. It's okay for me to sell it. But I, I thought you loved it. I do, but I'm not crazy. For $2,000, I can learn to love something else. <laughs> 25 years of marriage, and I still don't know what goes on in a woman's head. Uh, you'd never know it from that bathtub scene. Do you mind? I'm trying to study. Look, what are we doing? Uh, we're going to be living together for the rest of our lives. We're just going to have to put up with a lot of stuff we don't like. Mm. You're right. <laughs> you can wear your boots. Just not in bed. And you can wear your nightgown. Just not in bed. <laughs> I'll take off mine if you take off yours. So, you want to get together sometime? Sure. I'm off during the day. Can I bring my friend? We're sort of a pair. Hey, I'm a nighty, not a negligee. <laughs>